Hey there, fellow pop culture fanatics, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into some juicy news about the Young Sheldon spin-off that's got fans buzzing. That's right, we're talking about Georgie Mandy's first marriage, the show that's set to fill the Big Bang Theory-shaped hole in our hearts. So grab your favorite Bazinga t-shirt and let's break this down. First look, meet the new Coopers. I mean, McAllisters. All right, so the big news is we've got our first look at the McAllisters, who are basically stepping in as the new Cooper family for this spinoff. The official Young Sheldon Instagram account dropped this adorable family photo, and let me tell you, it's giving me all kinds of feels. In the pic, we've got Emily Osment, who plays Mandy, sandwiched between Rachel Bay Jones and Will Sasso as her on-screen parents, Audrey and Jim. And can we just take a moment to appreciate the casting here? I mean, Will Sasso as a TV dad. Sign me up. Now, I know what you're thinking, but wait, what about the Coopers? Well, buckle up, because we're in for some changes. So here's the deal, young Sheldon wrapped up with our boy genius heading off to California. That means the Cooper family story we've been following for years is kind of done. Mary, Mima, and Missy are supposed to show up in the first couple episodes of the new show. But after that, it's a big old question mark. And Sheldon? Well, let's just say his appearances are about as certain as Penny's last name. Spoiler alert, we never learned it. But here's where it gets interesting. Remember in the Big Bang Theory when adult Georgie mentioned taking over the family after his dad died? Yeah, that's still supposed to happen. So even though we're shifting focus to the McAllisters, the writers can't just ghost the Coopers completely. It's like they're trying to juggle flaming chainsaws while riding a unicycle impressive, but potentially disastrous. Now let's talk about these McAllisters. If you've been keeping up with young Sheldon, you know they've been lurking in the background like supporting characters waiting for their big break. Well folks, their time has come. Jim and Audrey are stepping up from occasional guest stars to full-blown main characters. And let me tell you, this is going to shake things up like a Texas tornado. First off, we've got Jim. He's been pretty chill about Georgie so far and word on the street is he might even help the kid build his tire empire. I'm betting on some classic father-in-law and son-in-law bonding moments. Maybe they'll bond over their shared love of, I don't know, air pressure gauges? But then there's Audrey. Oh boy, Audrey, she's been side-eyeing Georgie harder than Sheldon side-eyes people who don't understand quantum physics. And unless Georgia's death does a complete 180 on her personality, she's going to be bringing the drama like it's her job. Which I guess, as a TV character, it kind of is. Now, here's where my nerd brain starts to short-circuit. We never heard a peep about Mandy or the McAllisters in the Big Bang Theory. Not once. Nada. Zip. It's like they existed in some parallel universe that only collided with the Big Bang Iverse when CBS needed a spin-off. So the writers have got their work cut out for them. They've got to make us care about these people we've barely met, while also somehow explaining why Sheldon never mentioned his sister-in-law or niece in 12 seasons of Big Bang. It's like trying to explain why we never saw the Weasley's ghoul in the Harry Potter movies that's there in the background, but nobody talks about it. All right, let's put on our speculation hats for a second. This shift to the McAllisters could mean a few things. One, we might get a deeper dive into Mandy's family dynamics. Maybe Audrey has a secret past as a rodeo clown. Hey, stranger things have happened in Texas. Two, Georgie's going to be torn between his new family and his responsibilities to Mary and Missy. It's like a less dramatic version of The Godfather, but with more Texas twang and fewer horse heads. Three, we could see some interesting parallels between Jim and Audrey's marriage and Georgie and Mandy's. It's like a multi-generational study of marriage, but with more laugh tracks. Four, there's potential for some killer guest appearances. Imagine Sheldon coming back for a holiday episode and trying to navigate the McAllister family dynamics. It'd be like watching a robot try to understand human emotions. Oh wait, that was just regular Sheldon. Now, I've got to hand it to Chuck Lore and his team. They're taking a big swing here. They could have easily just kept young Sheldon going, following the family through Sheldon's absence like a sad country song about a kid who went off to college. Instead, they're trying to start fresh with Georgie Mandy's first marriage. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. But I've got to say, part of me is a little bummed. There were so many stories left to tell with Mary, Missy, and Mima. I mean, Mima alone could carry a spin-off. Mima's gambling adventures, anyone? No? Just me? Look, I'm going to be real with you. This could go either way. On one hand, we've got the potential for a fresh take on the Big Bang universe with new characters and dynamics to explore. On the other hand, we're leaving behind characters we've grown to love over seven seasons of Young Sheldon. It's like when your favorite band changes their sound. Sure, it might be good, but it's not the same, you know. But here's the thing, I'm cautiously optimistic. 
The Big Bang Theory universe has given us some great TV over the years, and if anyone can pull off this transition, it's this team. Plus, let's be honest, we're all going to watch it anyway, right? Whether it's out of loyalty, curiosity, or just to have something to complain about on Twitter, we'll be there. So what do you think? Are you excited to meet the McAllisters? Are you mourning the loss of more Cooper family hijinks? Or are you just wondering why Sheldon never mentioned any of this in 12 seasons of The Big Bang Theory? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss out on more hot takes and cool theories about your favorite shows.